Today I'm going to show you a few tips on how you can manage your Zoom Room classroom. Um, when you first start a meeting, a lot of times this is what you're seeing. You're seeing faces pop up and you're seeing names pop up. Names can be inaccurate for several reasons. If there's more than one student using Zoom, it may have a sibling's name or sometimes students like to get real creative with the names. I like for students to have their real name on their um, their video screen because then I'll know how to correctly call on them because I don't I can't keep track of who's Batman this week and who's not so you can rename a student by clicking these three dots and clicking rename and um, you can change their name so that it's an accurate reflection of who they are I don't know about you but I can't can't keep track of nicknames also too it's great for attendance keeping attendance um, and then over to the right, you'll have a participants box. And if you don't see that, you can see that by clicking down at the bottom, manage participants. And this will allow you to mute all the students and you can allow them to unmute themselves. Sometimes I like to mark that box so that they can't unmute themselves. I have to actually be the one to unmute them because you never know when mom's going to decide to vacuum during your class. If you want everyone to start talking again, you can hit unmute all. That's pretty easy and handy. Um, it's Zoom chat rooms down here. I always keep it set where they can only chat with the host. That's me. This keeps them from passing notes and chatting privately amongst themselves. And it also keeps them from blurting out information in the group chat, such as the answer or declarations of how hungry they are. So I always um, only allow them to chat with me. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably do a presentation and you're not just looking at everyone's faces. So when you go to present, you'll pick the screen that you want to present on and make sure that you always check this box down here, share computer sounds. This will allow you to play a video and your participants, participants will be able to hear it. So when you hit share, this is what you see, right? You see these boxes that are always in the way. They're constantly blocking your view <laughs> and you'd like them to stay where you can see them, but you don't want them necessarily on your presentation. Here's what I do. I drag them off my screen and onto my additional monitor. So now I can still see everyone's face over there on my additional monitor and I can see my presentation. Okay. It's also really hard for me to manage the chat room now because the chat went away and if a student had a question I would miss it right so if I click on the three boxes for more I can click chat and here comes my chat box but now it's in the way drag it off onto your additional monitor and I can even click on participants so that I can have that mute all or unmute all I've got this that I will also drag to my additional monitor now I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like now because um, I'm going to take a screenshot and I'll post that in my blog post that I'm going to write about this. But on my monitor, my additional monitor, I have the cameras, I have the chat, and I have the participant window all outside of my view of vision here on my presentation. So hopefully that is helpful to you on uh, managing the students while you're teaching your class in Zoom. Thanks for all of you that are teaching for Epic Live. We appreciate it.